Hi, and welcome to Unit 2 of our Android app development program. So in this unit, it's called Event Listeners. And so let's talk about some of the things that we'll see in the next few videos. So Event Listeners is all about listening for things that occur during a program's execution. We're going to start with the Event Listener called Button. And so the Fast Clicker application is a program that will allow us to time how many, t how many clicks you can do on a button in 30 seconds. A pretty simple app, but actually it's kind of fun to play. And so the second app is similar. We'll create a program called Fast Typing. And so the game is to take a paragraph and to reproduce it using your thumbs and typing at the small keyboard and to see how long it takes you to create that. And so the events that are here are not only button clicks, but there'll be a timer with events such as start timer, pause timer, and end timer. And so those events will be, sh will be clearly shown in the programming language Java. Now, we're also going to work with a program called Dice Roller. And so Dice Roller is going to work with graphics, and it will work with random numbers as well. So we'll pick a number from 1 to 6 and then show the appropriate dice. We'll make it into a game using random numbers as well called the Rock, Scissors, Paper Game, where you know how you have a scissors or a paper or a rock, and each one of those can defeat one of the others. And so Rock, Scissors, Paper will be using the computer to play randomized, uh, a randomized opponent. Then we'll talk about Spin the Bottle, which is a very simple game that shows a rotation animation. So we'll spin a bottle, and it will tell us which person at the table gets to pay the bill, for example, depending on where the bottle stops. And so Spin the Bottle is a simple animation game. Love Meter is also a simple animation, slightly more complex, that will take your name and the name of a person and to see how compatible you are and show it on a gauge. And so Love Meter is also focused on rotation animations. And then finally, we'll make a challenge at the end where we'll make a roulette wheel. So here's what the challenge will look like in roulette. I'm going to give you the diagram or the wireframe of how it should look. And then you're going to create the rest of it so you'll figure out how to accept uh, bets or wagers from the player, and then payouts depending on where the roulette wheel stops. And so this will be a challenge programming exercise, not so much a tutorial. Now these are a lot of programs to accomplish in one unit, so I'm going to split it up. I'm going to let you choose between one of these two in the rectangle. So the fast clicker or the fast typing game accomplish similar uh, objectives and learning uh, ex objectives, and so you'll pick one or the other. Same thing with the dice and the rock, scissors, paper. You'll pick one or the other, so you'll get a chance to work with graphics and random numbers. And then finally, one of these two will be appropriate so that you can figure out how to do rotational animation effects. And so those are going to account to a total of four different activities for this unit. So let's get started on the next video right away.